We was in shambles because of the snow. I got sick. Same exercises, a different day. Les tengo que. I definitely hit myself in the top of the head. Memphis has been a mess. We must have got like five, four, five, six inches of snow. Y'all know anything about the South. We was in shambles. We was in shambles because of the snow. I got sick, don't know if I had COVID or the flu. Child had a fall, busted up my lip, busted up my eye. It's been a week, but we out of it now. And my body is so disrespectful. When I say disrespectful, disrespectful, I was at the gym, maybe, a total of five days. When I tell you I came back to the gym after five days and I did my regular workout, my quad still hurt. Like I don't train them twice a week for the past year and a half. Disrespectful. They hurt right now. Disrespectful. Ladies, it needs to be an independent question. I need to be back home by 10.15. It is now 8.25. I did five minutes on that hit bike. It was terrible. It was terrible. I'm going to have to start adding it in. So, we are going to do, so I only did five minutes of cardio. Usually I like to get to the gym and do 30, but I am on a time crunch here. I had to force myself out that bed this morning. Like I am very much a midday worker outer, not a morning worker outer. So we'll finish like cardio at home on a treadmill and we'll just lift weights for six exercises. I think I tried to super sell them, but let's get into the workout because we gotta get out of here. And I'm gonna try to make it to the store. I don't know why I do this to myself. Y'all know another thing that happened here in Memphis whenever it get too cold. Ice, snow, below freezing. The water pressure go down, pipes burst, and then we're on a bull water advisory. So I always brag, even in my little mind about the goodness of Memphis tap water. And I think my last video jinxed us because we're on a bull water advisory and working in the church of the Same exercises, a different day. The gym girlies know. Back in the double it, we got the heat, yeah, we bubble it. Heard all that talk at enough. Marry the game, I'm in love with it. Came with that work in the stash. Like with those, like, I never take the tension off, like, my thighs and glutes. Like, when I go down, when I come up, I never fully, like, lock out because I want to leave the tension, like, here. <sighs> and in these little quads because I'm on this weight, which makes it like an elevated squat. Just a thought. Not a trainer, not a person to train, but. That's what I've learned. I wouldn't say in my mind, but there was not an appropriate risk. Baby, I'm up in my bag. I can't believe baby so mad. My baby, she looking so bad. Look, mama, I just want a ball. So I had to give it my all. They praying on me that I fall. But they don't be getting that call. They say for the flex, no, it's fat. Pull up the Maybach and bend your leg back. Please obey that. Don't delay that. Let's find some new music for this last little circuit I'm going to do. Because we got to get up out of here. I'm always in a rush, I'm always in a rush, and I guess to do better. We're gonna do a circuit. I don't know where I come with this stuff at.
I'm a bad little bitch and I'm snipped like a Barbie. Hips, lips, ass in a cardi. I'm his favorite motherfucker. Hello, mother. That's a wrap, cuties. That's a wrap. I had such a good time. And once again, I didn't even want to get out that bed. <laughs> No, explique la tierra. Oh, necesito darle mis tareas a mi maestra. Les tengo que decir algo importante. I need to tell you something important. People make time for what they want. They want. They you can you can keep it moving if you wanna take the number out your phone if you're gonna they both are hard yeah. deceptively hard i ain't even gonna strip i ain't mad i know how to act you won't even catch me talking trash i could get you know sometimes If you want it, have you looking over shoulders real haunted? But I'd really rather take a step back. Time's moving fast, and it's already healing my scratch. People make time for what they want. So if you ain't gonna call me, then don't front. You ain't gotta lie or waste my time. Plenty of people still around me think I'm fly. People make time for what they want. I like this one much better. What is bouldering? Bouldering? This is much easier like that. than that. But maybe since I feel comfortable doing this, I should feel made way more comfortable yeah. with that you all, you harness. <laughs> I trust me on this, like, I got this. <laughs> Definitely leaning into new friendships. We went uh, uh, to a rock climbing place here in Memphis. It's called High Climb. The first it's thing we did- about. And blogged about. Okay. The first thing we did, I think it's called bar clang. It's like where they have you strap. Not bar clang, maybe with like the tie rope. We did something where you were strapped and it's called something totally different than bouldering. That is scary, even though you attach to the strap because the strap to me, to me, is a false sense of security because it doesn't stop. It just kind of holds your weight and like keeps you safe. I'm pretty sure it's a way you can turn and move to make it whole and wrap it around you. We didn't learn it. <laughs> we didn't learn it. So that was kind of scary. But the bouldering part, like the second part that I did where you just kind of like free climbing and you going from uh, holding to holding was a little bit better for me. I actually felt more comfortable even though I didn't even have a strap to keep me safe. I really think it was more so because my friend that I went with was like very encouraging. Like she was like, you can do what you almost had. It. It's definitely a difference of perspective because when you're up like on the wall, moving like your hands and feet to a place holds, you can't really see it from the same perspective as somebody who is down on the ground. So where you think that you have nowhere else to go and you are basically stuck. The person on the ground is like, no, you can move your foot here. You're doing great. You can do this. And I noticed that even like when she went second, like uh, when I watched her boulder, she was like, I don't know about this. Like she got down and I was like, well, you almost had it. It was a different perspective because I was off the wall looking at it. So I really enjoyed that. I'm not sure how often I would do that, <laughs> but it definitely gives you something to work towards like on upper body days, a day when you work on upper body because that is definitely to me you have to have like some upper body strength like for bouldering even though she was saying like um it's more of like a core and pushing up from the legs kind of method i don't know i feel like it was a really good full body combination for a mile but anyway 
Yay to nurturing friendships. <laughs> Things I gotta do Got a gig and a script that I'm taking my time with Then I got signs, publishing got me thriving I can't let a flake come and kill my mood Don't even say a thing, don't act a fool Ain't no need for arguments, I get back to my shining Back to my grinding, you're ruining my timing People make time for what they want So if you ain't gonna call me, then don't no run I'm gonna go to Sprouts and look for some nuts. Oh. Everything else I usually get from here in the cold or frozen section is blocked off. So, in and out, up five minutes. It was pretty easy. Feeling guilty, your word is flimsy. Nothing you say is real. See, before I was stupid, I stay up and lose it. Was making excuses, I thought it was ruthless, but had to go through it. And then eating them. I do not. I do not feel subconscious about my food choices. So can't feel subconscious about the rolls that come with it. <laughs> I went to that ride class and it was 45 minutes. So it is now one o'clock. I should have between 30 minutes, 30 and 45 minutes to do like a quick lift and then we're gonna get out of here. I'm not controlling it, so don't be like me, be better.
got two more rounds of these that I'm out of here. Happy gym day. Wednesday. Is that Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, y'all.